Cobra Kai has enjoyed unparalleled success during its run so far and has built on the already legendary story of the Karate Kid. However, with recent reports that a new Karate Kid movie could possibly be in the works, not everybody is happy. Today, we're discussing how a new Karate Kid movie would be an insult to Cobra Kai, and Ralph Macchio himself has been talking about life after Karate Kid. Stay with us. First up, a word on Cobra Kai Season 6. As of right now, Netflix has declined to greenlight the sixth season of Cobra Kai, and while that doesn't mean they won't in the near future, it's certainly not a great sign. Given the success of the show so far, you would have thought they would have jumped straight into production on Season 6, but that has so far failed to materialize. However, the star of the show, Ralph Macchio, isn't sweating just yet, and he appears to be quietly confident the show will return for a sixth installment. Miyagi-Do existed before any of us. It'll be around long after we're gone. The roots are strong, so the tree will survive. Speaking on the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast recently, Machio explained that he believes a sense of normality will be restored very soon. He went on to say, Yeah, we, truthfully, we've not been picked up for a season six yet, which we think should happen very soon. But keep watching, you know, keep those numbers going. Of course, the show has been one of Netflix's most watched since it first dropped back in 2018. But that doesn't guarantee its safety. Netflix has been known to cancel popular shows before, so it wouldn't be the first time this has happened. But Cobra Kai is is, well, Cobra Kai, right? Do you think it'll be picked up for season six? What's all this about the Karate Kid being rebooted then? Let's see. After Cobra Kai creator John Hurwitz recently announced that the upcoming The Karate Kid reboot had nothing to do with him nor his fellow Cobra Kai colleagues, fans quickly became outraged that a new Karate Kid show would dare to simply go it alone without recognizing what had come before. Hurwitz's tweet read, The guys and I would love to make Karate Kid and Cobra Kai movies and hope to someday, but this one isn't from us or focused on the Cobra Kai cast. Don't know much about it, but wish it well. And so far, no new details have emerged. Cobra Kai has been a massive hit, so to simply ignore all of that, plus the original films, borders on crazy. Most are in agreement that the new Karate Kid film is simply an insult to what has been achieved throughout the previous two incarnations of the Karate Kid. The Netflix series was an excellent example of a reboot done right, and this simply feels like those behind the reboot are trying to cash in on the success of the original films and Cobra Kai without giving them any of the credit. The idea of a new reboot will undoubtedly alienate fans loyal to both the original film as well as Cobra Kai, and we would think the new film cannot afford to simply separate itself from what came before it. We're not even sure why they would want to. What about you guys? Next, we're discussing if a Karate Kid reboot would even work without Cobra Kai. As we know from Jumanji and other successful reboots, they're not all destined for failure, but the obvious links forged between Cobra Kai and the original 1980s movies mean means that any reboot would surely need to incorporate what has come before somehow. Of course, simply rehashing the old material is out of the question. Hey, 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 Mr. Miyagi, look! Look! And any new Karate Kid movie would need to bring with it its own plot and characters. But to do so without any mention whatsoever of Daniel and Johnny would surely be a huge error. When planning Cobra Kai, the creators took a huge amount from the original movies and laboriously plotted how they could do the movies justice, and all of that resulted in the finished product, Cobra Kai. Harking back to the Karate Kid movies meant that they were simply watching an extension of those films when watching Cobra Kai, and having that solid link resulted in some of the show's best storylines. I mean, we only have to look at the previous 2010 reboot. The Jaden Smith and Jackie Chan film followed similar lines to the original, but it wasn't enough. If the new reboot wants to excel, it would be a huge mistake to ignore Cobra Kai, given the success and warmth from fans it has so far enjoyed. Give us your thoughts below. So what did Machio have to say about life after Karate Kid? Machio is synonymous with the Karate Kid, and by now, it's universally accepted that the 1984 classic is the movie that launched his career. After the first film, he then appeared in both sequels and has since revisited the character in Cobra Kai. Now, at 61 years old, yes really, Machio is recognized everywhere he goes, especially since his career was revived a few years back as plans were hatched for a Karate Kid spin-off show. However, the years spent between the iconic movies and Cobra Kai were pretty much barren for Machio. And back in 2016, he joked that his secret for looking so young was simple, not working. Of course, it's safe to say since then, he's been very busy, what with five seasons of Cobra Kai in just four years, even through a pandemic. And playing the legendary Daniel LaRusso once again appears to agree with Machio, as he doesn't appear to have aged since the original movies at all. One aspect of the original films he appears 
appears to regret is not calling Elizabeth Shue to see how she was dealing with being egregiously written out of playing his on-screen girlfriend between the first and second films. You know, you could have gone. Well, I didn't want to, okay? I like it's no big deal. Look, you know, if I really wanted to go, I would have. Apparently, the writers were aiming for Daniel to be a James Bond type with new girlfriends in each film. However, Machio said, I never looked at it from the perspective of Ali's character or from the perspective of Elizabeth as an actor. I should have done differently. Do you agree? What else did Ralph have to say then? Well, hindsight is 2020, as the actor admitted he should have probably stood up to the film's producers more regarding Shu, but joked that they probably would have said to me, get outside, Machio, and start practicing your karate kicks. Of course, as Machio points out, this was the 1980s, and women had nothing like the status or power they enjoy these days. Machio married young, before the first Karate Kid film in fact, and is still with his wife Phyllis to this day. It's this relationship that got him through the tough times. After being one of the most desired actors in Hollywood during the peak of his career in the 1980s, it would soon come crashing down as the offers dried up. Machio remembers his name slipping rapidly down the pecking order of actors, and once he had completely vanished off the list, he feared he would never return. Years of playing parts in second-rate movies followed his appearance in the 1992 film My Cousin Vinny, a period which Ralph himself describes as my dry spell, my lean years. However, his deviation from a life of stardom could have been set a few years prior, as he missed out on Sidney Lumet's Running on Empty due to contractual obligations to make the Karate Kid sequels. Instead, the part went to River Phoenix, and we all remember how his career blew up prior to his untimely passing. So, how did he get back into the groove? Years of near misses followed, just like Running on empty, and Machio himself thought his career was finished. He remembers being on a deal with the studio responsible for both Friends and ER, but wouldn't get roles in either. But he truly believes that it was all for the best, looking back. When asked if nicer, less forceful people finish last in his business, Machio pondered the question, suggesting he did undercut himself. However, he was happy with his Long Island life, as opposed to his Hollywood one. But Machio's career wasn't completely over. At the funeral for Pat Morita, Mr. Miyagi in the movies, Machio bumped into Willie William Zabka, and the pair reminisced about the Karate Kid. Ralph would later appear in a music video Zabka was making as an adult Daniel LaRusso, and the seeds of what would eventually become Cobra Kai began to sprout. Zabka would later appear on an episode of How I Met Your Mother, and the cast would often joke about what Daniel and Johnny would be up to now. Josh Heald, John Hurwitz, and Hayden Schlossberg heard about the joke and decided to pitch Sony on a continuation of the story, and the rest, as they say, is history. Machio is reveling in the role and the new lease on life it has given him, and sitting in the house the 1980s built, as he puts it, he explained he's now upgraded that place to the house that Cobra Kai brought up to contemporary standards. As always, thanks for dropping by today, and remember to stop by again next time for some more great bits and pieces. And why not do us a solid by liking and sharing today's video with any Karate Kid slash Cobra Kai fans you know of. Bye, guys.